please, Disney, leave our characters alone. Your characters suck. Craig here, reviews for you. Oh yeah, here we go. Episode nine, episode nine. So, Lucas is here. Oh, Kathleen, that's right. I mean, you know, we couldn't say a whole lot. I've already said that he's already been collaborating with them. I already said that he's already been, you know, he collaborated. He did a little bit with Solo. Um, and he did some with Rogue One. Uh, and people were like, where, where, where? I, I don't see where it says that. Okay, well, bam, I'll drop a link down below. Well, Lucas has been trying to fish them out of this toilet bowl, um, The Last Jedi, ever since the bombing of Solo. And they think that Lucas is their only hope. And as much as I don't like George Lucas's name, Lucasfilm, uh, getting dragged through the mud, um, I still find no hope uh, in episode nine. Whether you make it into two movies or four movies or six movies or eight movies, I think the damage is done. There's so many things that need to happen in order for people to actually go watch this movie that um, you're not willing to do, Disney. Um, I mean, yeah, is it great that you're going to bring in George to make sure they don't screw things up? Um, well, I mean, you really should have thought about that beforehand. Maybe whenever you screened the movie, you should, you should have had somebody in there that was an actual Star Wars fan when you, when you pre-screened the movie and said, Oh, wait a minute, this sucks. Maybe you should have listened to Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill said, this is, no, 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 we need to make this for the fans. Ryan Johnson said, no, we don't need to make it for the fans, we need to make our movie. Uh, um... No, you actually do need to make it for the fans. Um, I got news for you. Without fans, you got nothing. And Ryan Johnson, we know you got nothing. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart down here. I, I, I really do. Bottom of my heart. I, you have nothing. Literally. Between here. Between your ears. Nothing. I mean, you're like four foot three. Uh, gendered. Yeah, I mean, it's like your voice hasn't even changed yet. Um, you know what it's fun to say about it? Yeah, yeah. all right, look. Um, how about grow a set? Um, and actually try to make a good film instead of trying to be Mr. Indie? Because guess what? Majority of people don't watch indie films. And the ones that do, well, those are the ones that like The Last Jedi. And just... It's a turd. It's a big, flat turd. Um, you know, can you fix nine? You know, with Lucas over there helping out, can you fix nine? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think it can be fixed. I really don't. I, I think it's just time to write that shit off and not worry about it. You know, my Skywalker trilogy ended at episode six. I'm good. You have given me three movies that just... Uh, are just pfft. and you've given me Rogue One, uh, which is about the closest thing to a Star Wars movie you've made. So you're hitting, you're batting one out of four. That's that's not good. Um, actually, you know, if you're an Atlanta Braves fan, actually 25% is pretty good uh, for an Atlanta Brave. Uh, now I'm, I can pick on them because you know, I mean, I go to Braves games. Now I say um, nine is pretty much dead. Um, even Lucas can't bring this back. I mean, honestly, I don't think Lucas can even bring this back. I think probably the best thing to do is, you know, I'm not, I'm not, not I'm really not worried about Disney streaming service, you know, wanting to wanting you to pay additional money to watch their crap, uh, because you can't watch the good stuff because Turner still owns the rights to it uh, until 2024. So you can't even watch that on the streaming service. You're going to get to watch the rerun crap, and you're going to get to watch their crap all over again. So, uh, yeah, take that Disney streaming service and try and sell it to somebody else for $14.99. Ain't going to happen to me. Um, episode 9, I don't see it happening. I mean, I really don't. Uh, there's, there's too much that you have to do that you're not willing to do 
in order to get me to go see episode nine. And bringing in George Lucas was a step forward. But that's only one step. And there are way more steps that you're going to have to take to get me to go see episode nine, period. Um, and even if I go see episode nine, if you did all those steps, I still think it's going to be a shit show. Um, just like my buddy thinks it's going to be a shit show. There's just way too much stuff and not enough time. And it's like throwing every ingredient you have in a blender, hitting it and letting it go. That's just not how you're going to be able to make a good movie. It's like trying to take all of my videos or all of Mike Zero's videos in one day and just mash them up into one. You, you can't do it. Not without it becoming a jumbled mess. So uh, you're trying to put way too much stuff up in there. And you're still sucking on the tit of the original trilogy by bringing in Lando that you're just going to disrespect anyway. You know, you're bringing back Mark Hamill that you're just going to disrespect again anyway. Uh, you're going to bring back, you know, uh, Hayden Christensen, which you're just going to disrespect again. Um, why? Why? Just, just why? Do you know what? Just please, please, Disney, leave our characters alone. Your characters suck. Make your movie on your characters. Your characters suck. So just leave it, leave it where it is. I'm looking forward to the D and D trilogy, so we can get. You know, some of this guy right here. Um, and just get away from all this crap that Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams have made. Uh, that Kathleen Kennedy has completely ruined a franchise over. Um, Y'all can take that stuff. I, I really don't care about it. I honestly don't. Do I want you to retcon eight? No, I really don't. I really don't. Do I want you to decanonize it? Hell yeah. But, you know, you know what? At this point, I don't even care. None of the stuff that you've done so far is canon to me, period. Your solo movie's not canon to me. Um, putting your little, putting your damn SJW robot freaking computer inside of the Millennium Falcon, that's, that shit's not canon to me either. Um, Jake Skywalker is definitely not canon to me either. Um, none of this stuff is canon to me, period. You know what? I'm going to wrap up this video, and I'm going to go play me some Knights of the Old Republic. You know why? Because that's canon to me. I'm Craig. Reviews for you. Remember to like, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, my facts don't care about your feelings. So, fact is, your stuff sucks, Disney. Don't care what your feelings think. I am.